315. Going for PR's 10. We'll see if I hit it. See if I can get 11. So hitting some chest today, went for that 315. I wasn't feeling that great today. Previously, I was able to do it for 10 reps, but after that, I just did it for six today, six clean reps. I followed it up with a little bit of more bench press, 12 reps of three sets on 225, and that still felt heavy. This usually feels a lot lighter, but I am getting over being sick, so I did that. Then I went to floor press with dumbbells. I've absolutely been loving dumbbell floor press or either barbell floor press or dumbbell floor press lately it's just a little tough to get the dumbbells up when you're on the floor we get a better stretch better contraction either one i'll do and i'm pretty much doing it every chest workout now i'm going to throw either one of those movements in every time after that i went into actually a tri set so i started with this machine pulls it on the way down did eight reps here and with the tri set i do one exercise into another and then into another so three in a row so i go right into Cable crossovers, eight reps on these. And I had to go lighter than usual. Obviously, my chest is already fatigued and then right into push-ups. So this just absolutely kills the chest. Did three rounds of this tri-set. Need to, I kind of want to start doing a little bit more superset tri-set work. I just think it's it's great for the muscle to change it up. And then finished with actually another superset. So went straight from the hammer strength machine, chest press, 345s on each side, did about eight reps here straight into incline dumbbell fly. So I'll just put it on the slightest incline. I talk about this a lot because I usually don't like inclining it anymore, or I feel it a lot in my shoulder. So right from the hammer, right to these, and that was the chest workout. Quick, especially with all the triceps, the supersets, got a lot of work in in a short amount of time. All right, so I'm gonna do one more exercise this workout. I'm just gonna finish with one thing of triceps. I'm on a new split now. Now I haven't been on a bro split, for years but I'm completely changing over to it starting today so it's gonna go Saturday chest Sunday back Monday is rest day that's what I'm gonna run and then Tuesday is gonna be legs Wednesday is gonna be shoulders and Thursday is gonna be arms Friday another rest day I'm gonna run then so I'm going to this split so I can slot some time for running at least twice a week I'm also gonna run today but just want to do this change it up I haven't done a bro split in like two years so just want to see how it goes hit one single muscle part once a week, high, higher volume than usual. But before I was on, I think I was hitting a muscle every five days. Not many rest days, so we'll see how this goes, but this will be the last. I'll also, on chest days, I'll do one exercise for triceps, back days, which is tomorrow, I'll do one thing for, for biceps, and then I'll also have my arm day, like I said, on Thursday. So I'll do like six or seven sets here, just working up on the weight, this is my last one. Reverse push downs, I love this. It's just a different feel, you can't do as much weight, but you can't really cheat it as much. I like it a lot. So I am not in the best running shape right now. Like I said, there I did about a mile and a half, but running is one of those things that's just so hard once you start back up in it but gonna lift five days a week. The two rest days are gonna be running days, cardio days, activity days, so it's gonna be a nice change up rather than just going in lifting every single time. I think I need, you know, a little bit more of a balance, like I said before. We'll make a tire for you. Can I get two double doubles, both animal style, and one french fry, well done, animal style? Paul, could you please at your first window? Thanks. Thank you. All right, so I made it home a thing of beauty. Some people say this looks like crap, amazing. So one fry, animal style, well done. That's key, you gotta say well done. Two burgers, animal style. And another key is if you let this go for more than like 10 minutes before eating it, the fries go back. So I live pretty close to in and out but I gotta get there soon or else they're pretty much useless. All right, so it's Sunday morning right now. I'm staying at Nick's as you can see. I'm watching his place again because he's in Pennsylvania, visiting my parents, surprising my parents. So I'm going up there in a couple weeks. Didn't go this weekend. But what I'm having for breakfast, 
cinnamon roll protein, one and a half scoops. This is the sludge that I eat all the time. And then almond milk. So it's simple to make the sludge. All you do is put the scoop and a half to two scoops of protein in the bowl and then slowly add the milk because you don't want to put too much milk or it just gets completely watery. So I'll usually put a little bit of milk in, start mixing it up, add a little bit more milk until I get that nice consistency, texture. Then I might even throw it in the fridge for a little, cool it off, and then that's it. But I have no grocery, so we're gonna go to HEB and do a quick grocery haul. Also starting the day off with one and a half scoops of In Focus. Nick doesn't have coffee, so this is so good on ice. It's gonna get me going. So this grocery store is always packed. It'll be like 11 p.m. on a Friday night and you can't find a parking spot. It's not too bad now, but lately on YouTube, I haven't been watching a lot, but the videos I have been watching, I've been like coming around all across random ones like Brian Shaw's Day in the Life or Day, Full Day of Eating. It's like 11,000, 12,000 calories a day. Juan Morel, the pro bodybuilder, how he used to eat like 20,000 calories every Sunday. It was like seven milkshakes a time. Just ridiculous, like... I don't know how someone can eat that much consistently in a day. I don't know why I thought about that, but that's those are the videos I've been coming across lately on YouTube, but I can't imagine what those bills would cost. I think there's been people that have put out videos and like they'll go into the grocery store of the strongman and their bills are like 600, 700 bucks every two weeks. It's just insane. And I think I'm spending a lot when I'm dropping 200 for like a grocery haul that's gonna last me at least two weeks. It looks like Nick left all of his pull toys in my car. This pretzel is not mine. With this grocery haul, what's different about this one of how much fruit I got, because I've been sick for the last week, if you guys have been following me, I'm still getting over like a sinus infection or whatever, and I never get sick. I was just saying I never get sick, and then this hits me for like 14 days, so. Whole pineapples, bananas, peaches, Grapes, all four of these. I was almost gonna get more. I was gonna get plums and a few other things, but this is good for now. I might run back and get some more fruits later. I wanna get a lot of vitamin C in me right now. Also got, for the meats now, I got chick, three different types of chicken. Chicken thighs, chicken halves, and chicken breasts. Get tired of the chicken breasts from the Balkan, but still good to throw in there. It lasts forever and they're cheaper, so. Also got some sausage and some pork ribeye, which I started getting that and it's still cheap. It's good, they have them at all the HEBs, and then just regular bacon. Also got a bunch of vegetables and stuff like that, salad, things like that. And then for the sauces this time, I didn't get anything in high in calories, like ranch and stuff like that. I do have light ranch here, but some sweet baby with Ray's, buffalo wing, that stuff is good. And also some salsa, little snack, I got some chips as well. And then also I got the sweet potato, Alexia. I used to get these in college and used to always diet on these. Forgot all about them, so I got these again. And then another thing I've been getting is these Uncle Ben's rice. These things are awesome. They're so easy to easy to make. It takes 90 seconds, whereas if I'm putting rice in a rice cooker, it takes like 25 minutes. So convenient. I still have a big bag of rice here, but that's the grocery haul. It's like 150 bucks. I didn't show you guys everything, but should be good to go. Get some vitamin C in me. Start feeling better again. <laughs> Finished with a, a deadlift PR right there, 550. The most I did before that was 545. Now the, I'm gonna get a lot of crap for my form because my hips shoot up and then it follows my, my back follow. So using too much back. I'm gonna crack that as I go. I've been deadlifting once a week right now. So the more I do it, the more I get help with other people like my brother or some other people that come in here and deadlift. I just need some more critiquing, some more practice with this. So I'll fix the form, the form will get down. And I think that's a big thing of why I'm not putting up as much weight because my squat is pretty much the same as my deadlift PR right now, because I can probably squat about, actually a little more, maybe like 560 or 570 right now. But I wanted to finish this video on a topic, why I stay natural. I've never used performance enhancing drugs or anything like that. I know pretty much everyone has made a video on this topic and I feel like it's kind of just appropriate right now. I feel, see a lot of people getting busted on uh, drug tests right now. I guess the USAPL is having a little bit of an issue and just, other things going out there in sport and whatnot, but you know, I've always kind of had it on my mind. 
because especially when I was in college, I was obsessed with bodybuilding. I followed it closely, all the big dudes, the IFBB. IFBB. I was competing. Um, I kind of just looked up to those guys and I knew the only way to get that big was to take the next route. It was always kind of on my mind, but I never actually went through with it. And thank God I didn't because I think it would just, you know, be one of those roads that you just keep using more and more and it can lead to health problems. And a lot of people out there right now will say all this stuff, steroids, growth hormone, they, it doesn't cause health problems. I think a lot of people are just in denial of that. Maybe if you use it like normal doses, low doses, it's not bad for you, but I just, you don't see many of these big bodybuilders walking around at an old age. A lot of them are passing away before they're 50 and it's pretty sad to see, but it's just once I started seeing that stuff happening and people d passing away and dying, it's just like there's no way it's it's worth it at all. The people like what I look up to right now, for ex example, is like my dad. I'd want to be in shape like him when I'm 55, his age, doing body pump classes, stuff like that, having good cardiovascular, vascular, lifting three or four times a week, just always staying natural. I just don't think it's even necessary or it doesn't even cross my mind anymore. Back when I was in college, though. It's like when you're in the college weight room, I feel like everyone kind of goes through this like, it's just like 60 dudes like trying to be the biggest guy. And it's like, it sounds stupid, but when you're actually in there, lifting in that atmosphere, like you want to be the biggest, you want to be the strongest. And a lot of people are using stuff, but I'm just glad I never went through with it. You know, I think sustainability, longevity, that's the way to go. Cause it's like, if you do it naturally, you're always going to be big. You're always going to keep this muscle. If you use steroids, you're gonna lose it once you stop using it. So that's my take on it. I'm gonna keep staying natural, just still slowly progressing. You know, the biggest gains I ever saw, saw was when I was like 13 years old. And since then, I've seen a lot of people pass me because I was the biggest back then when I was 13, 14. And then since then, a lot of people that have been using stuff have gone way past me, but that's all right. You know, I'm here for the, the long term, for the health of it. But I'm gonna wrap this video up. I hope you guys enjoy this one and I'll see you in the next one.